Hello Year 6, this is Miss Aaron. Hello Year 6, this is Miss Airy reading your text, Titanic. Titanic was a passenger liner and the largest ship of its time. It carried over 2,000 passengers and crew. Its first voyage was from Southampton to New York, but the ship never reached its destination. Building work. Titanic was built in Belfast, Ireland. It took three years to build and cost millions of dollars. The ship was constructed so that it had 16 watertight compartments. To keep the ship and passengers safe, these compartments included heavy metal doors which closed in around 30 seconds if any water seeped in. The doors closed slowly to give escaping crew members time to pass through. Titanic had four funnels. Only three of these funnels worked. The other was to make the ship look more powerful. Facilities. The boat deck was the highest deck on Titanic. It was called the boat deck as this is where lifeboats were kept. It was a large open space where first and second class passengers could stroll, rest on benches and play games. The grand staircase was covered by a beautiful glass dome. The centrepiece of the staircase contained a clock. There was an a la carte restaurant for first class passengers, a Parisian style restaurant and also first, second and third class dining saloons. In addition, there was a pool, two barber shops, two libraries, a gym, Turkish baths, a squash court and lifts. However, the use of these facilities depended on your ticket class. First class. Titanic's first class passengers were very rich. They travelled with several suitcases and trunks. Some even brought their butlers, maids, dogs or car. The most expensive suites included two bedrooms, two dressing rooms, a sitting room, a bathroom and a private deck. Or there were 350 cheaper first class cabins. All the rooms were beautifully decorated. First class one way tickets started at roughly £25, thousands of pounds in today's money with a suite costing near to £900. Second class. There was a grand dining room for second class passengers. The room was beautifully decorated. Second class rooms slept between two and four people with a shared bathroom. Second class on Titanic was equal to first class standard on any other ship at the time. Third class. Third class travel was much less comfortable and known as steerage. These passengers were not allowed to go to the first and second class areas of the ship and use facilities such as the swimming pool or squash court. Cabins slept between two and ten people and there were only two bathtubs for all of the 712 third class passengers on board. Third class tickets cost between £3 and £8. An £8 ticket would be around, worth around £550 today. This class offered transportation rather than luxury. Why didn't she reach her destination? The Titanic sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on the 15th of April 1912 after hitting an iceberg. Who was to blame? Here are a few theories about who was to blame. Captain Smith was the ship's captain. Many people blamed him for continuing at speed into an unknown area of ice. There were not enough lifeboats on board to hold all of the passengers and crew. There were only enough lifeboat spaces for 1,178 people when the ship's total capacity was 3,547. 
tragically, when the lifeboats were launched, they were not even full. Captain Lord was the captain of another ship called the Californian. His crew saw rockets being fired into the sky from the Titanic. Captain Lord was informed, but he didn't realise they were warning signals. Therefore, the ship didn't assist immediately. Also, the Californian's radio operator had finished work for the night, meaning the ship didn't pick up the Titanic's distress signals in time to help. The inquiries into the tragedy concluded that ships must always slow down when entering icy areas. All ships must carry enough lifeboats for everyone on board and wireless rooms were to be manned around the clock.